You can use TI Inspire to analyze graphs of functions. From a graphs page, bring up the function entry line by hitting the tab button and begin entering the equation of your function. I'm using a cubic here because I think it'll provide a little bit more interesting look at what we can do using Inspire. So you can follow along in a handheld or you can download a free trial of the TI Inspire software from our website at education.ti.com. So if I look at my graph, I notice that I'm not using the entire window. So there's a couple of ways that I can change the window. And I think maybe the quickest one for this would be to go to our window options, zoom box, because I know that I want to specifically look in here to find my minimum and maximum values. So with zoom box, I can just look at a certain region of the graph. Now I notice in here that I have three zeros and I have a minimum and I have a maximum. So let's find what that minimum value is. I go to Menu, Analyze Graph, and then the second option there is Minimum. So I'm going to drag the lower bound, which is to the left of my minimum, and then upper bound, which is to the right of the minimum. And you notice that as I did that, the X and Y value for that minimum point showed up on the graph. Now likewise, I can also do this for my zeros. So I'm going to select Menu, Analyze Graph, and Zero. Start my lower bound from the left of the zero you'd like to know and drag over so that the upper bound is just to the right. And notice as I did that, the zero value where my zero occurred showed up on the graph. So again, you can do this using the TI Inspire by downloading a free trial version of the software at education.ti.com.